the spleen is exteriorized and the mesentery identified. Perforations in the mesentery at the level of the hilus are made. These perforations are performed between every two to four splenic vessels. This will result in the isolation of several clusters of vessels in the hilus which can be occluded with either carmalts or uh, mosquito hemostats. Typically it's easiest to work from the tail of the spleen towards the head of the spleen. Perforations are most safely performed with using a blunt dissection. The mesentery is typically quite friable and easy to penetrate. Any regions of the mesentery that are clearly avascular can be simply transected. Circumferential ligatures are then applied using the absorbable suture. And the vessels are transected between the clamp and the suture. One to two ligatures can be applied if it looks like there's a lot of fat or a lot of tissue is engaged, then you might want to use multiple ligatures or even a self-crushing, self-securing ligature like a Miller's knot.